And you know, the Swifties on YouTube and TikTok didn't like what she said, but it's Travis <laughs> Kelsey. It's Travis Kelsey the GOAT amongst tight ends. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think so. Um <laughs> what did what was the record he had? He had, I believe it was like seven thousand yard seasons in a row going on eight. I think he I think this year he didn't get it because he sat out the last game of the year. But to to do that, I mean and this, in addition to the winning of Super Bowls, I think he's got obviously got he's got two. Um, he, he's the best receiving tight end we have ever seen. The best receiving tight end, and he all his all around game was great. He's able to block at a high level. He doesn't get hurt. I mean, up until this year, we hadn't even heard about the guy getting injured. He'd be, I don't think he'd missed a game up until this year. Um, so he is he is special. I mean, he is a generational tight end, a tight end, um, and he's gonna go down that way. I think he's the best one I've ever seen. Just because of the consistency of his availability, Gronk got hurt. You know, Gronk would get hurt. Gronk would miss games. Obviously, when Gronk was there, he was a, a freak of nature. Oh, my goodness. And he had the killer next to him, too. Uh, well, literally and figuratively, um, too. So they, they were a two-headed monster um, as well. A murderous duo, if you will. Uh, <laughs> so, so um, no, nah, but I, I think, in all seriousness, I think Travis Kelsey was the, was the best, uh, is the best, and will go down as the greatest tight end ever. And I think that most tight ends of all time would probably agree um, that that's the case because of the consistency over time. And he's been doing this for a long time at a high level. So I'm going to say, yeah, fact, fact. Hey, y'all know, y'all know I like my stats here. I'm a geek when it comes to sports. <laughs> I, I love looking at the stats, the analytics, not to say that this play is better. I don't go that far, you know, like in the NBA, they be using the analytics in the wrong way oftentimes. But check, check the stats on this. All-time playoff receiving yards. Of course, none other than Jerry Rice at 2,245 yards. But you know who's second? At the tight end position, not wide receiver. At the tight end position, Travis Kelsey, 1,810 yards. When you talk about NFL playoff touchdown receptions, 22, Jerry Rice. Who's second? Travis Kelsey. At 19, he might mess around and get that in the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. Receptions, mm-hmm. all time receiving in the playoff. He's the leader now. 156 catches. Jerry Rice is now number two at 151. Yeah. Yeah. At tight end. He's doing this at tight end. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Hands catches too. He he's a hands catcher. He catches the ball away from his body. He is he's elite, man. He's he's gonna have a big game on on you know in a what next week. He's gonna have a big game. You just know he is. Like it's just you can count on it. He's just that great. He's a big time performer. When it matters most, he comes he comes to play at a high level. And in spite of all the noise that went on around him to play well, he's got like a who's the guy we we I don't you know we we make a big deal about here in New York for no reason. Oh, name is name is factor to him, right? Because he said, "Oh, we're gonna go win," and he went and got went and won, and he made him a big deal. From what I understand, he was ass, but they make a big deal about him. Now, nah, Joe, name Joe. <laughs> Miles don't like to hear it, but I've said plenty of times, Joe Namath is overrated, and Joe Namath should not be in no Hall of Fame. 